Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial and in this tutorial um, we're actually going to go over how to change uh, the values of, pro er, of properties through scripting. We already know you can change them pretty easily if you just go into their uh, go into their properties over here and change them in the properties menu but you can't do that when the game is running so how do you do it then you make a script how do you use this how do you make this script well there's two okay I'm just gonna have to show you so we're going to keep it actually we already don't we no longer have that testing brick we removed it um, in the last tutorial so we're actually going to go over and we're going to use game that workspace that base now we're going to have to let okay see our big base plate here okay so let's go into base and let's look at some of its properties first off we have brick color we have material we have reflectance we have transparency we have class name which I won't really go over class name and it's a locked one anyway you can't change it so no real need um, yet so uh, how do we how do we go about doing this well there's a lot of ways actually but we're gonna go over one that's fairly simple um, game dot workspace dot base and we're gonna change its brick color now brick color is it's a little it's not the easiest um, property to change because there's a lot of rules you have to follow for it but I'll just show you guys a quick model of how to do it so game dot workspace dot base we already knew that now here's the property change mark we're gonna type dot brick color equals sign here's the fun part equals sign I'll explain what it does in a second brick color dot new bright blue remember uh, it's case sensitive when you do that um okay so dot brick color okay we know that's the property we already went over this right what why why do we have an equal sign that's scary it, it, I've never seen those before in scripting only math and I hate math <laughs> is that what you guys are saying because it probably is a lot of people both hate math and a lot of people would be scared to see an equal sign and having no clue what it does okay so here's what it does though game dot workspace dot base that brick color is called the actually I don't know what it's called we're just gonna call it what's being changed the value you want to change because it's on the left side of the equal sign <laughs> because it's on the left side of the equal sign you <laughs> okay it's like doing a simple math problem two plus two e here I'm even gonna draw it out even though it'll pr two plus two equals what two plus two equals what whenever you do a math problem the equal sign is usually at the very end and then the answer on the right of it right so that basic math problem I know algebra sometimes that might not be true trigonometry stuff like that but for basic math the equal sign is at the end of the actual equation and on the right side of it is the answer well in this it's a little bit like that here is what we want to change here's the value that we're looking for but instead of finding what it is we're actually going to change it so we're actually saying okay um lua well i want you to find this brick um then i want you to find its property brick color and um i want you to make it equal i want you to make it equal to whatever the heck i say and in this case, I'm going to tell you to make it the bright blue brick color. And Lou is going to be like, oh, okay, as long as you follow my syntax, because I'm stupid and, you know, I don't really know how to do much unless you follow my syntax and my rules of how to talk. I'll do it. Um, because that's, that's exactly how Lua talks, you know. 
So brick color. Brick color is going to end up. Anyway, the brick color is going to be changed to this brick color. And now I'll explain just real quick how brick color dot new works. So brick color is a built-in kind of class object thing in Roblox Lua, and I'm not going to cover that too much. Um, just know that you're making a new brick color by calling brick color dot new. Um, because that's a built-in function in brick color, blah blah blah, but we don't use a colon because that's how it works, and it's annoying. But brick color dot new, and then you have to put in the exact name of the brick color you want, and it has to be case sensitive. In this case, we're going to do bright blue because it's a, an obvious change, and it won't be as obnoxious as changing it to like the white or something where everything will be way too bright. So brick color dot new, bright blue. We're going to. Uh, I'm. I'm actually just going to disable and enable the script while you guys watch, because I don't want you guys to miss this. Disable, enable. Boom. Um, wasn't actually as obvious as I'd like it to have been, but as you can see, it is now a bright blue color. So that's how you change that kind of um value, and we're just going to go over one or two more. Let's go back to our base. And let's just go to its reflectance. Reflectance is a double variable, meaning it only goes on a scale of 0 to 1 and all the decimal points in between. So actually, no, we're going to work on... No, we'll work on reflectance. So let's go in here to this. And let's change its reflectance this time. Let's make it 0 0.5. Remember, 0 0.5 is halfway between the most reflective and the least reflective. 0 being the least reflective, 1 being the most. So we're going to go here. And I'm just going to let you guys watch this as I disable and enable the script again. And as you guys might be able to see, um, hopefully you can. I don't really know how well Hypercam is going to show you this. But um, it's reflective, sort of. It's not the best reflectance ever because, honestly, Roblox's physics engine isn't that great with reflectance. It just reflects the mirrors, but it won't, or the clouds and stuff. But it won't reflect actual bricks, which is annoying. But hopefully, you guys, you can see that. And now, just to double check, we're going to change reflectance to transparency. And before I actually run that script, we're going to go over here, because transparency and reflectiveness kind of fight each other sometimes. We're going to go over here, and we're going to change the reflectance back to 0, not 33, 0. And now you guys can just watch as I enable and disable it. And we will see that it is now transparent. So it looks a little bit like the reflective but you're actually seeing through it so if we go over here we can still see that building because now it's transparent so let's go back to base actually we'll go back to our script and we'll set it to zero and then this time I'm actually going to disable enable and boom it's back to being super non-transparent and opaque so that's all the variables we're going to worry about today uh, we'll cover more as time goes on, but I won't really have a specific tutorial towards it. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys next time.